Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gen Sense. Hope that you're doing well. Today we're taking a look at the newest fragrance from Narciso Rodriguez. For men, it is Narciso Rodriguez. For him, Vetiver Musk. Now this one I ordered from Europe, but you can find it at retail in the US as of when I'm shooting this video now. Uh, you can find it at Macy's. A 100 ml bottle is $114, which actually all things considered, you know, how much stuff is going for fragrance wise, new ones, not a bad price. 114, <laughs> yeah, we've gotten to that point where you see that and you go, huh, that's pretty cheap. So I've been a long-term fan of Narciso Rodriguez fragrances for men, really enjoy them. Uh, some of the discontinued ones I think are fantastic actually, They're like little showcase pieces for me nowadays. Uh, and they've been concentrating mainly on Blue Noir. Uh, I mean, for years, it's basically everything is Blue Noir, you know, a different flanker in the Blue Noir line. So to put out something new, Vetiver Musk, pretty exciting because it's not Blue Noir, it's something new. Yeah. Question is, is it any good? Now I got this in just a few days ago, so this is just glorified first impressions. Keep that in mind. I haven't been wearing this like, you know, for uh, weeks or months or anything like that. I'll have it linked in the description below in case you want to check it out down there. Again, Macy's is where you can find it as of this video. It actually says that it is a Macy's exclusive right now. And before we check out the presentation, here are some codes that you can use to save your money at a number of different fragrance websites. So if you shop at any of those, save yourself some money. Let's go ahead and take a gander at the box and bottle, check out the presentation. So here is the front of the box. This is your typical Narciso Rodriguez style. You have the name of the fragrance, name of the house, size, and concentration all on the front. Eau de Toilette is the concentration here. On one side, you have a very short description of the fragrance. Find and vibrant, deep vetiver, rich geranium sensual musk. On the back, you have your ingredient information and a QR code, and on the bottom, your badge code and barcode. Badge code 4004F9. And here is the bottle. I actually like this one a lot. I like the color scheme here. I think it looks cool. You have the name on the front of the uh, fragrance and house, and you have the concentration as well. Once again, Eau de Toilette. On the bottom, you have your badge code etched into the glass, and the cap clicks into place. Pretty snugly as well. Yeah, look at that. You can pick this one up by the cap, no problem. Half the time I remember to do that test, half the time I forget. All right, let's go ahead and do a couple sprays here. Let's check it out. Nice solid atomizer. So, vetiver, musk, how does it smell? What are we dealing with here? What's the deal? When you first spray this fragrance on, you get hit with a, a slightly powdery nuance. It smells like water spritzed. It's a very green, fresh, a bit sweet. So it has a good amount of musk that comes out right off the top. You also have cypress in there that's gonna give you that kind of green feel that you get when you first spray this on. Again, a little bit powdery, um, touch of spice in there, sweeter spice, not really like lively zingy or anything like that. And the geranium in here, you get a decent dose of it and it actually comes across a little bit rosy the way that it smells, which geranium has a tendency uh, to do that depending on how it's used. And here you get that. So green aromatic aspects, a little bit powdery, sweet, rosy, and it has uh, a little similarity to Declaration d'un Soir from Cartier. Not quite as lively as that one. This one has um, more of a, a sweetness to it to me, but still you can draw a little bit of a similarity, a bit of a line between that fragrance and this one, how it comes across. And when I first sprayed it on, I thought, ah, oh, it smells pretty good. I like that, not bad. Uh, but then uh, as it dries down, you're, you're kind of, you're waiting for the vetiver, you know? It, it's called vetiver musk here on the side of the box. It says what? Uh, deep vetiver. So you're waiting for it and uh, you don't really get a whole lot of it. I mean, you get some, you get some. Uh, a little bit of a you know, woodiness underneath there as it dries down, but vetiver here, a little bit nondescript for my taste. Doesn't really give me <laughs> much of that vetiver. Not the way I was wanting, anyway. Because the name of the fragrance is vetiver musk, but instead it's more like geranium musk <laughs> with um, sweet green woven throughout. And again, to me, it doesn't smell bad. It's not that I smell this and I'm like, oh, I'm disappointed this is garbage in the way that it comes across, but it is something where I smell it and I go, huh, 
not really what I was expecting uh, with what they were putting on the tin, you know, what they were advertising it as and naming it as. But I guess as far as the, the color scheme, that's pretty accurate. Like when I look at this and smell the fragrance, I think, oh yeah. Because again, it has kind of a water spritzed aspect to it. It's got a freshness to it. And um, it has a solid amount of musk mixed with, with green. And when you think of those colors, right? So the green of uh, Cypress and then water, we'll just think of like uh, a light blue. And then you kind of meld those together. You come out with something that looks like this color scheme wise. In terms of performance, it's, um, it's okay. It, it sits close to my skin fairly quickly. So when you first spray it, it it's decently strong actually just the the top there it projects pretty well and then afterwards once that kind of burns away it starts to sit closer to the skin now it has good performance as far as longevity for a fragrance of this type um you know five six hours something like that uh, but as far as projection goes not great not great so for me this ends up being a fragrance where at 114 dollars retail which again is not a bad price compared to what a lot of things are nowadays i don't know that i would recommend it to you i think it'd be one of those deals where i would um tell you to go and test it if you can and then uh, if you have the patience wait a little bit and i feel like this is one that you could probably scoop up from discounters for you know 50 to 60 and in that price range it makes more sense especially if you enjoy fragrances in the declaration line from cartier if you like those this is sort of in that wheelhouse fresh watery green a little rosy yeah like i said that's it's pretty much what you're getting here a decent classiness to it uh the quality is not bad either and i think that compared to most things on the market nowadays again removing declaration decently unique yeah so i think for some people who are who are very familiar with those Cartier fragrances, they would smell this and be able to, you know, see the inspiration there and go, oh, okay, I get it. It's not the same, but you can see the inspiration. People who aren't familiar with that line or haven't smelled them or worn them a bunch, which frankly is a lot of people out there, they would smell this and be like, oh, whoa, hmm. Nothing else like this. So depending on how familiar you are with those fragrances and fragrances of that ilk is um, how you'll approach this as far as the uniqueness goes, I think. So do I love it, like it, neutral, dislike it, hate it? Like, where do I fall here? I like the fragrance, just like I like uh, the couple that I've mentioned that are a little similar to this one in some ways. I like the way it smells, but I think for me personally, there are a lot of other fragrances uh, during spring that I would reach for over this one. It's not bad to have because it does give you a different flair from most other things that are coming out new nowadays, but it's not one where I'm just, you know? So yeah, I like it, but with caveats. There are some things that could be better. I feel like um, there are some things that maybe if they were added here would have made it more interesting to me. I would have liked a little more better, but on its own, I accept it for what it is, I guess. I do hope that they don't just throw in the towel here and go straight back to Blue Noir and hit us with like Blue Noir Elixir, or maybe, you know, flesh out more of the Narciso Rodriguez line, give us some new things, some interesting things. That would be cool. I do feel like just based on the scent profile here that it may not sell as well as some of those Blue Noir fragrances. So we'll have to see there, but at least they did something a little different. So there we go, Narciso Rodriguez Vetiver Musk. If you've smelled that one, let me know what you think about it. Do you want more Vetiver? Do you want less Vetiver? I want, I want more, I'm team Vetiver. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Stay safe out there, I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.